Xavier Porter, Shoot the Five, you already know I'm in the building here at the New York Stand-Up Comedy Club in New York City. I'm with the one and only Nick Fresh D. Donato. The man was on MTV Catfish, so you already know we're about to go in. But before we get to that, Nick will be fighting on the next Celebrity Boxing um, event, Damon Feldman Celebrity Boxing, taking place on September 28th, live and direct at the Shopo Hotel. Tickets are on sale. Um, Nick will be fighting. Who are you fighting, Nick? Um, celebrity fashion designer. His name's Dashar Calhoun. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. What the hell are you doing on catfish, Nick? <laughs> uh, actually, I, I landed on there by chance. I was talking to this. Um, yeah, yeah. But, but I didn't like. So I was talking to this chick. She uh, hit me up on Snapchat or whatever. And every time we would talk, there was nothing suspicious. Like she told me, you know, she would tell me she was gonna be somewhere or whatever, I would see proof of it in real time on Snapchat or whatever. But one night we was on the phone, it was like two months in, and um, she was watching Catfish and she was really invested in it. So, and I, I've only seen the move, the original movie, I've really never seen the show like that. So I said, cause she was never wanting to meet up, I said, I'm gonna put your ass on Catfish. And she's like, no you won't. Next day, I wrote an email, two weeks later I heard back. So, so I kinda ended up on it by chance. Where, where you from? South Philly. South yeah. Where was the where was the young lady from? Uh, South Jersey. South Jersey. Yeah. yeah. So when you, when you met her, how did it go? Like when you like, finally got to see her, how was it? Um, I kind of knew prior that she wasn't who she said she was, but I just didn't know who the hell it was. So um, the first reaction was like, oh damn, right? But <laughs> but we kept it cordial. I kept my composure a little bit, um, and you know. That's, but other than that, man, it went, it went, it went all right. Have you, have you spoken to her since? Um, here and there, maybe like a text back and forth, only because, you know, she had, she, she had got rejected a lot. So it was kind of like, we got enough of that shit in the world. So I figured, you know, I showed some support. I wouldn't totally like ignore or whatever. Because um, we had a connection, you know, talking. You know what I mean? It's just, you lied to me. I mean, and we... This can't go anywhere. You already started off on a lot, you know what I mean? So. I mean, it happens. You develop a relationship over the same. Right. You develop a pretty good, you know, like you right. understand. Right. You kind of, not fall in love, but you develop a relationship. Right, exactly, exactly. So, so being a guy that you want to make guys, you're not just going to shut it out and leave it with you. Right, right. You know what I mean? And like I said, people are busy. So, if I'm talking to somebody and. What's your name, Dave? To me, uh, two, two months in, it's not much if we can't find a date to actually meet up or whatever but you know then thing when I just started like I said I just happened to send an email playing around and I wind up hearing back so what did you learn from uh, you had to learn something yeah I did uh, <laughs> ask a lot more questions yes. um, and meet more people in person gotcha. you know what I mean okay. <laughs> that's that's one thing I definitely learned from it okay so now we got this fight taking place on September 28 yep. what are your thoughts on it um, well, this is my third fight going in. I'm 2-0. Oh. Um, I had two knockouts. I think this is probably going to be my tougher fight. Um, and uh, I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to go in there. I'm ready to, to obviously put on a show, but obviously come out with the win also. So, uh, Deshar, I'm ready for you. I'm going to knock your ass out. <laughs> what is it about celebrity boxing that you just enjoy and love? Um, it's more than just boxing and entertainment it's like a brotherhood there's people from all walks of life it's a, it's good networking you meet all these different people and um you know kind of you can stay in shape a little bit too so it's it's got a little bit of everything with it you know what I mean? um i never did it like as an amateur or whatever but i always loved boxing so i go to gym hit the heavy bag spar pads and stuff like that yep uh, at Nick Fresh 215 on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. I appreciate the interview, bro.